Greetings and welcome to the Infection Free Zone. We are building this in a lovely city somewhere of Birmingham. Now it's a city I go to a lot, so I'd like to know that I'm going to do well in it. No, I don't think I am, so no, the world's in nursery school or it's pharmacy, but whatever. So, well, so the Infection Free Zone is you are survivors. You get to pick your cities. You get to try and survive within them. So basically, you know, there's a massive map, the entire world, and it tries to make it into a game map for you. Can we survive in it? Probably not. So our goal is send out teams, only one of five, create squads, they take weaponry with them, and then they will start uh, exploring. Now there's obviously a lot of evil out there. I'm going to try to survive for as long as possible. Let's see how well we do. The biggest things you need, of course, is resources and supplies. We have... 10 pistols and not that much ammo. See, 100 rounds, so you say each guy's pulled out 100 rounds with them, not very much ammo. So we need to grab as much as possible. There's different types of buildings. This one here has unknown to house, who knows. This one over here, apparently, is full of guns. These two buildings over here might have houses. I mean, might have houses, might have cars. Cars would be good for more travel. So we'll have to explore and see what we can get. So the teams will be sent out to grab cars. They'll be sent out to grab munitions. The bigger the building, the longer it takes to grab resources. Now right now it can only support five squads, I think, because they have smaller houses. But we should be okay. If we're not okay, I will eat my words, and my people will be eaten by zombies. Let's start salvaging cars, start salvaging lampposts. I have a few people to look after. Food is a premium right now. Do we get a car? I don't think we will. Neither of those two buildings gave us a car. I think it was a bit too early. We'll have to explore even more. Now, where you pick in the world, if I zoom out here, is how difficult it's going to be. As you can see, not a shop. So I'm going to pick the dead centre of the city. Which is somewhere over here. You can tell where the train station meets. But as you can see, it gets more and more houses. More and more lairs for the infected to live in. So you've got to pick good place. I've picked over here because there's more open space than usual on the chance that we won't get eaten by evil. Now, it still might. You can build new buildings. You can, you know, can, well, you repurpose buildings. So your arms factory, tool factories, food, warehouses, shelters, uh, wooden towers, defensive walls, barbed wire, so on and so forth. Because obviously you need to be able to survive. And that means building a compound, building existence. We will get there, hopefully. But we do need a lot of resources. Now, nighttime happens pretty fast. And our entire defense is eight people with pistols. That is quite literally it. So we're going to have to put our people in the building to keep them alive. That's not the worst thing. But nighttime's about 5.30 at night. Or sunset 6.36, apparently, at this point. So you see... That's important, 636. That's when things start moving. And that's because we're in April. Time of the year affects time of night. And it also shows you how often I've tried to actually record this, because I think we started in January. So yeah, we need to get our teams back to base. And we need to be prepared for night time, where things will start creepy crawling. As you can see, there is line of sight and line of fire. So we may have to start destroying buildings. We spotted movement, a small squad down there. Now we should be able to destroy them. But remember, we only have so many rounds of munitions. We have found spares. Yeah, they are down there. They will make a home in one of the houses. If I don't spot where they're going, our troops might go in that house without knowing what's in it and get eaten. Luckily, a four-man squad can kill a four-man infected. We don't really want more than that. And the squads can get pretty big. What about day two is May? I wonder if that's changed. So the first times I was playing this, I was playing the experimental version, and it crashed every three days. So me actually having more than three or so days and a save button is surprising to me. Now down here, this is where there are people. See, there's survivors down here and a load of garages. We're going to push down there and see what we can get. But right now, we need uh, towers, we need shelters, we need wooden walls. We're going to start actually building a proper defensive area. Let's get this party started. I've made two more squads. One has two pistols, one has machetes. We need to make sure those squads don't meet too many bad things or they will die. But the more squads we have, the more resources we grab. Because we have 14 people doing nothing right now. We can't need them to do something. We just found where that infected squad went. They are down here in this building creating an infestation. 
That's a problem. We want to go there. That's the garage. We will have to fight and destroy them all. But we're sending two squads into the weapon place in the hope that we find weapons for some of the squads. On the bright side, we've just found a load of pistols. An awful load of pistols. So as you can see here, this squad has a pistol. This squad now has four pistols. We now have 13 pistols. We do, of course, need more pistols. But we have a lot of pistols, a lot of munitions. This will keep us going for quite a while. Turns out I lied. One of the squads only had two pistols. So we have... 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 pistols as opposed to a few more. We still need to push down to here. So I really want the cars. That's another car option over here. Because we're going to send the squads down south next time. We have food. We have supplies. We have a lot of munitions. We don't have as much food as I'd like. We are now turning this building into a warehouse. We're turning this building into a shelter. We will need to have troops in those buildings. But I think we should be... They're going to eat it. They're actually eating that building. Of course they are. Come on. Defend it. So buildings have a certain amount of health. As you can see, that's... Um, Already failing, and we've now lost a building. Cool. Uh, yeah, we we'll, we'll try rebuilding that next time. And actually, have more defences. Troops with bows, which are in this tower, we can upgrade them. They are the best, but they exist. Either way, we're in trouble tonight. We had a problem beginning of today. There's a large amount of infected in this building. I don't think I've got the troops to get rid of them. So we're gonna have to get past them and not die, which will be interesting. But yeah, we have a few issues. We're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna try and grab these people. We do need more munitions, we need more food, we need more supplies, we need more everything in reality. But you know, it is what it is. I know, don't tell me things. I need this. Okay, you, why do you have so much food and you didn't give it back? Come on, give your food and resources back, guys. One of my squads just found an assault rifle. They have an assault rifle and a pistol from this place. That would be good to arm my other squads. Of course, the assault rifles, a lot of assault rifles. We've also brought back the survivors. We do need more people. But we're going to keep exploring and gathering because we need as much as we can. And a car would be nice. There was in fact no car, so no no more cars in the middle of June. Cool. We've officially got ourselves our first warehouse. We're building walls and another tower's going up. But eventually we're going to destroy this building and put a gateway over here. A gateway is like two small towers guarding a gate. That'll be good for us because we need a lot more going on. We still have this to deal with. People are very dissatisfied right now because people don't have their own shelter. I'm building their own shelter, guys. Come on, give me time. We may have trouble, though. We need a lot more shelters. We have food everywhere. We need a lot more food, a lot more weaponry. We need a lot more everything. Our people aren't the best. Although we do have an assault rifle with one of the squads, so yay-ish. One of my missions is take over a vehicle with us. Oh, it's finally given me a vehicle. It's gotten so sad of me not being able to find a vehicle, it's just okay. given me a vehicle. I feel vaguely insulted. I've checked five, six garages now, and nothing. Apparently there's infected animals? Oh, cool. Okay. Infected animals. That's what I've always wanted. We're gonna get killed by crows. We're dealing with a squad with the assault rifle. Oh, this squad is also using a pistol. This tower has a pistol! Okay, we are surviving. A uh, few buildings you can see are taking damage. We can easily repair that. We should survive the night. Let's go get us a car. Oh my god. Get us a car. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's a problem. Ammo's in the warehouse. Oh no! See that? They went for my squad as I went to rearm. We dealt with like 70, 80 zombies. Oh my god. Ammo is significantly low. Our pistol guys will be needing more. Are we actually out of ammo? Rearm, guys. One thing. I wish they'd rearm while they're inside the building. Go grab the car. We're going to send out multiple squads to go check that out. We do need more food as well, so, you know, go out there. These squads are going to go down south to grab more mu ammunitions and things. We should be okay. But, four days in, four months in, we are still having issues. And more people are talking to us. So this one is... Um, how we start getting research. We now need to find a library to steal their um, radar or their dish. So we'll find them somewhere. That's university. I think we're just going to go rob a library. Oh, wow. I just found a tool store with a load of grain and farming tools. We can actually start farming. That was massively looking. Don't know what this building used to be in real life. It definitely wasn't that. It's a house. We found a house apparently on one of the main streets, which I know is just food people. You know, they probably maybe make pizzas at best. Go to a pizza shop? I don't know. All we've got is a lot of grain. So now we have access to a cookhouse. One of my squads now has a car. That's good. 
We've got plenty of food we're going to bring back. We have a cookhouse. We've got a lot of things now officially going on. Look at that car go. It's actually using the road. You'd hope so. You'd hope the roads would be mapped. But they are done. We are now retreating back to our base. We do have a cookhouse here and another shelter over here being built. Oh, we don't have any more survivors. What are you doing with that car? We don't have any more survivors, but it is what it is. We're going to leave the car. Get in. Two squads per each thing. Can we get any more squads? No, still only four or five. We're going to keep pushing, crushing, and surviving. Maybe. Oh, the hordes are getting bigger. The hordes are getting much bigger. And there's no spare ammo in these. So my squads will have to move across to get munitions. Oh, they're eating the buildings. They're eating the buildings I'm building. Not the building buildings. Slight problem. There's a horde next to my base. We are going to have to uh, deal with this. Because it's right next to where we are. So we're going to send in three squads to kill this off. Go, go, go. Kill them all. The assault rifle's doing pretty good work, if I'm honest. Clear. Good. Few issues. There's zombies inside my area. I bet it's a big one. We killed two extremely fierce infected. Plus they were down there. There was a child in there. Um. Okay, we're trying to find a child now. Which I don't think we should be doing in this situation. But, you know. Apparently they are. We have begun full-scale construction and building areas, as you can see. We have slowly expanded the area. We've got walls and stuff going on. This squad is now going to clear that infection. We have a fair bit of food. We have my squads actively going as far away as possible. We could take the car and immediately go get the technical books. I don't really know if we should right now. We also, of course, need fields, I just realised. Which could be a problem. Could seriously be a problem. There's not much space for fields. Oof. We'll have one in here, one here, and one here. There we go. Got three fields inside the shitter. We may move the car. We need wood for them, but we are expanding and growing. We have a lot of people destroying trees. We have a huge amount of economy and survival society happening. We actually have a good place. There's big squads moving in the north. Lots of squads moving in the north, some in the east. We will need to push out. We still need a lot of things to do. We do need more guns for the towers, honestly. Look at them all. Oh, hey, look at them all. Oh, they're hitting the tower. Look at the tower has health, but even so. Okay, salt squad move up. How are we doing? Taking some damage. Luckily, we do have bows. The assault rifle squad is moving in, moving in, moving in. Don't get eaten. There we are. Okay, so there's a few minor problems right now. There's a few of them. Oh, they're in their houses again. Okay. See all those infected? We need them all gone. We need all of them gone. Sending in three squads to clear this infection, this infection, and this infection. We do kind of need them to not be here. There's a lot of noises underground. What? Okay. What do we need to do? More defences? We're having issues now, people. There's infestations everywhere. We need them all dead. I'm sending out the munitions car to go get more guns. We need them to obviously have a lot more weapons. So the car can store a lot more resources... So we'll see how well they do. They are, of course, really far away, and night time's drawing in. But they should be alright-ish. Um, they've just found dog infected. Cool. Cool, I love dog infected. Oh, we spotted some people probably on the can see to um, approach friendly. There's a squad here. If we can get them, it'd be very good. Uh, we're sending in the assault rifle squad. There's lots of interest coming, the days will be shorter, and the farms won't produce any more food. Wait, what? Winter's coming? Oh, of course winter's coming. We found one pistol from the house. That's good. It's more ammo, more pistol. There's a lot of shops over here. Must be a shop, bro. Maybe more cars. Another rifle place over here. God, we're going in deep, aren't we? We're going for it. We're going for that really far away and hoping for the best. Please don't die. There's a car over there we can grab. We're taking the car. Um, that squad we found is non-friendly. We killed them all. We got a spare gun. Yeah, we killed them all. That was a problem. We got a lot of spare pistols, at least. So, that's cool and all. We now have enough munitions for all of my people. Just what I always wanted. Being shot in the head and finding pistols. Another night, we actually found a pickup truck. It's somewhere over here. I just saw it as passing. So, there's a car. There's a van over here. There's a pickup truck somewhere else. Up here. If we can get those... We'd actually be very, very good. We don't have much fuel for them. But obviously a pickup truck would carry a lot of supplies. Also, this gate has four people in it and two pistols. I was expecting a two-man gate because the experimental is a bit different. Experimental has less items in it, I've noticed. It's a bit of a problem, but there we are. 
We do need more people. We need less unfriendly squad shooting me. That was not fun or cool. But we are surviving well, this small settlement of Settlementia. Oh my god, Settlementia has problems. Settlementia has problems! Look at them all! So we need another defensive gate, I think. They are eating some of our buildings, that is fine. We can, of course, kill them. Are we already out of ammo? No, good. We will be, though, this is storing no munitions. But repairs will now be needed on all the buildings they had a nibble on. Cool! Nibblonians are happening. There's dogs on the way! Yeah, I see them! Shoot them down. Oh god, look at how many dogs there are! The infected are now dogging! Please shoot them all in the face! I like dogs, just not this many and this rabid. Oh, there's more of them! Okay, we are low on ammo inside this base. Okay, we're going to have to have them rearm. That means going out to the open. Okay, rearm, rearm while we can, rearm while we can. Good. Move, 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 move. Get back in the building. We will have to clear all the infected out again. Construction and destruction carries on. I'm destroying this and building a wall around this side here. We are wiping out this squad over here. And we're going to carry on exploring everywhere else. Is there a squad in the car? Of course there's not a squad in the car. Why'd there be a squad in the car? I found another enemy squad moving around over here. Look at that. We have other people doing other people things. What is it? Two-man squad? Okay, we have the numbers and the firepower to cleanse them. We do not want these wandering around our zone. What is this? It's getting worse out here during winter. Who would have thought it? The days are getting short. We've only got till 5.30. I've sent my assault rifle squad heavily damaged all the way over here to grab the pickup. They might get back in time. Either way, they'll be in a pickup truck. This group is at a big superstore. It says it's Tesco. It might be Tesco, actually. I'm pretty sure I may have been here at some point. But it's Tesco. The assault rifle squad only just got the car. And now are infected everywhere. They now have a fine resources in the car, so that's pretty good. So as you can see, we are holding steady. This has a fair few guns. We have this squad into here. They are resources we can use. We are better now. We are prepared for winter. It is snowing. Night time's a bit dangerously close to current time. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of horde. That's a lot of horde. That's way too many people. What is going on here? It's getting dangerous. We're going to survive for a year. We better survive for a year. Where'd they come from? I didn't even see them. Must have been a house I didn't clear. Must have multiplied. Oh, my gods. Oh, my gods. Reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. More incoming! More incoming! It's still pretty tough! Okay, go over there and rearm. You are all out of ammo. Go over there and rearm. Go over there and rearm. How are you doing munitions-wise? You've still got a fair bit. Out, in, rearm, rearm, rearm. Oh my god. So ammo is becoming an issue. I wish my troops would auto rearm. Why did I take the car? They took the car! Are they refueling it? Don't know why they're in the car, but whatever. Okay, we should be fine. 6.45 is the morning now. What's night time? 5.07. Mm, okay. Oh, okay, infected squad over there. We can send in two squads to go deal with that. I'm thinking I still need to send out that squad to Tesco. Every little does, in fact, help. Okay, go to there. In the car. We should be good. It'll be daytime soon. I'll be going back. It's minus two. Oh, come on. We found a big infected squad just here about to go to that building. We will have to clear them soon. Yeah, they are way too close. We found another in We found another bloody uh, guy on the road. He mysteriously died. The guy died. He was a die guy. Another pistol, at least. That'll show up more of our stuff. So there's... Other squads who don't like us everywhere, and the problem is I kind of like them because they keep dropping me pistols. So there's a bit of a disconnect going on in the middle. 
we don't have much time though, so let's see, you and you. Oh, you're injured though still. Actually, it might not matter. Sending these two squads into that building. And oh, there's too many of them. Chief, I've been looking around while we said everything is turning green. Pure, why are you not master of the world anymore? What do you mean? Brown shooting out windows. Okay. Just as it should. It I don't... Like this. All, okay, this squad needs to stay in here, I think, and heal up. They are quite injured. Sir, so, we've encountered people willing to join us. Accept them. Send them in. Send more people. We need more stuff. We need more construction. We need more everything. We need more... We're running out of trees. We're still destroying these buildings to carry on the wall. In fact, I'm going to start building the wall over here. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. So get to that to there. Like that. There we are. Just keep building and growing and expanding, people. I'm hearing heavy gunfire somewhere over to the east. Like, literally heavy gunfire. I'm going to have to send out... Hear that? There's something going on around here. I'm going to have to figure it out. Because otherwise we're in trouble. Unfortunately, my assault squad's still very shot in the face. Big disgrace. But something's going on. I couldn't find where the gunfire was coming from. I think... A squad moved into an infected building and engaged it. I don't know if the squad or the infected survived. So one of them is now gone. No idea which one of them is now gone. We do, however, still need to... Oh, they're finally healing at last. We do, however, do need to clear that massive infected horde. Which we're going to do now if my squad can make it. Building up walls, destroying more buildings... Taking time and resources, of which we don't really fully have, but whatever. We can't clear it in time. We generally can't clear it in time. We're not going to make it. We don't have the time anymore. 5.07, yeah, we don't have the time anymore. I think we found where that squad is, at least. It's here. Luckily, they seem to want to attack the, the squad down below, which has the defensive tower. But even so, I need to repair these things. I really do. We're having minor issues. There's dogs attacking the gateway. Come on, dogs. Okay, there's a squad east, a squad south. Oh my god! Here they come! Come on! Come on! Hold the line! Hold the line! There's a few zombies out there now! Oh my god, more squads! So there's a squad down, there's two, three squads down below. We're going to have to cleanse. Okay, fine. We'll deal with them now. I've lost where the squads were. We've lost where the squads were. Oh no, no. Okay. There's an enemy squad there. We're going to go kill him. We don't know where the infected are. They went inside a building. Now I've lost them. Um, My squad's being robbed. There's a... Wait. Um, so, what is this? I'm being robbed. Canned food. Um... Um, okay. So that's going to be, you're coming here supplies and quick, you take longer people die. You bring any weapons? Wait, what? They've got my assault rifle squad. Ah, uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm being robbed. I'll say one thing. The save feature doesn't appear to work properly. The auto save saved. The actual save did not. So I made a save, because I wanted to see what happened if I did a decision either way, because I was kind of curious. And it didn't save. So my save didn't save, so we're back a lot further. So as you can see, I'm still destroying buildings. This has apparently needs to be completely destroyed. But we are completely back to where we were. So we're back to here again. Which isn't the worst thing, but it is an annoying thing. As you can imagine. There's a fair few hordes constantly arriving now. Winter is definitely here. They're eating my gateway. It's not even completed. Don't eat the incomplete gateway. Come on. Alright, so there's a few things we need to do. We need to hold the line, kill them all, grab more resources. Food is scarce, so food is a priority. Luckily, we are in the new year. It's great, so we might not die, although we don't have many hours. Seven till five. Oof. We're sending one of our squads over to go get more fuel and food. Basically, they're going to hit the shopping line over here. Best one, Quinton Rhodes. S&D News. 
Wait, a uh, makeup studio. If they have food, I'd be very surprised. Two more infected squads have been wiped out. We are gathering as much food as possible. We also just found a solar-powered CCTV camera. So someone's spying upon us. It turned out I was wrong. And judging by this, the, um... The makeup studio had more items in it than any of the other groceries combined. So the makeup studio was hoarding food. I guess it really was organic makeup. I bet the pub has some beer in it, though. Uh, we've hit a weird itch issue where we actually have too many supplies. We actually have a fair bit of resources, a lot of metal and so on. We should probably start building metal gates and metal defences. You can't upgrade your stuff, sadly. As you can see from this metal gate here, it's a lot bigger than the gateway down there. So what I'm going to do is probably start building metal stuff up here and slowly start upgrading as time goes by. So you see that to there. That'll be a lot more useful. But we have brick walls, we have metal walls, of course. We can easily do a lot of things. But right now, we just don't have the resources. We've killed a few squads. There's a few more out there. I'd like to destroy some of the buildings. We do need more storage. So I've started transferring these into, into storage too. But we are surviving. January, day 10, technically nine months. We've done really well. Oh, there's an enemy squad down there engaging. That means there's munitions eat. Yes, an enemy squad got eaten. We're going to go steal their gun. More guns, more funds. There's another enemy squad moving down there. Okay, we're going to send the assault rifle team to deal with them. There are so many angry civvies attacking us. Luckily, we have extra guns and munitions and stuff. But even so, there's so many angry people out there trying to kill. He's shooting our civilians. Kill him. Good. Yeah, get more guns for things. He's just trying to shoot our civvies. What a little bugger. He's dead now, but what a little bugger. We also need more fuel. We found infected in a building. So this is the problem. We don't know where the infected are. Luckily, we killed them all off. But even so, we have no storage. We have huge amount of construction going on. And we don't really know where the enemy are anymore. Okay, the base is looking pretty good. We still need more survivors. But we actually have quite a large built-up area now. We are more prepared for a major siege. We have multiple towers. I've taken the people out of this one because, you know, we didn't need them. We have defensive areas. This gate might get done in time. And if it does, then we'll be absolutely glorious. We have completely gained ourselves some more supplies. We actually have resources galore. And we are good to go. We do need more and more and more food, of course, because winter is here. But we have most of our people on the gates. We have a, uh, a few people in the field, we have 8 people in the field, we have 8, 12, 14 people on towers eventually, this still needs to be finished. So we have gotten mostly what we need, we do need to repair some of the buildings of course, but we are prepared. The infected are attacking my metal gate! The infected are straight up attacking my metal gate, what the hell? Yeah, get them, get them away! Little sod are attacking my gate! Now I have to repair the gate! Typical! Actually typical. Need more wood. We're completely out of wood. Well, that's insane. That's genuinely insane. Either way, we're sending the squads out because we have time. Let's um go steal some more resources. We've just found a bulldozer or a tank, maybe. Luckily, we are dealing, but yeah, we just found bulldozers and maybe a tank. We didn't really want to, but we have. Luckily, we have good squads out there dealing with things. Well, there was a weird glitch where my guys went into this building and I found them somewhere over here. But we're really ignoring their black magic. We do need more wood. We do need some more supplies. We do need more food. Food is a big issue. Not the big issue. The big issue is actually a newspaper. Does anyone remember what a newspaper is? Newspaper. They're attacking my gate again. Every time I give them an option to have a gate, they attack a gate. Genuinely annoying. Like they shouldn't be trying to eat my gate. But they are. Luckily, I have a lot of things going on now. Huge amounts of people with bows, we have gunfire, we have friends everywhere. They do not. They get bows, they get guns. They get everything shot in the face. The big disgrace. I'm going to kick their can all over the place. Didn't get any research done. The city's looking nice. That's a few of them. Now we're all a bit low on guns. We're low on, very low on munitions, actually. That's a problem. Now, like I say, the gates will eventually fail. We do need to clear out a lot of buildings around the outside to stop them getting in. There's a potentially a tank somewhere I'd love to know about. 
But we have survived pretty well. We have a good civilization going on, mate. 30 hours for food. Yeah, eight people there. Four, eight, twelve, fourteen guys there. So that's 20 people. A third of my people are currently doing things. Of course, we also have several squads of infantry moving around as well. Where'd that one go? One of the hordes just went into a building I didn't see. Anyway, we've hit April. We've survived a full year, or technically 13 days, I guess. But we've survived a full year. The city is looking good. We have buildings. We have cars. We have defences. We have survived. If you want to see more, please tell me. I was thinking 100 days, but I don't know there's enough footage here. So we're going to go for one year. I know, I know, it's not technically a full one year, but... I'm going for it. Either way, take care, be awesome, be epic. If you want to see more, say so below. Until then, good luck. Goodbye.